Okay, this portion of the lab, we are going to take a look at foliation. So, in metamorphic rocks, they are squished, pressure is applied to them, and we're going to use Play-Doh and sprinkles to kind of demonstrate what minerals would do under directed pressure. So remember, directed pressure is pressure from just two sides, not all four. Okay, so with Play-Doh, all four would be if I squished it all in my hands, and directed pressure would be just from two sides, like that. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put the sprinkles into the Play-Doh. Mind you, it is a bunch of different colors. That's my five-year-old for you. Um, and then we're gonna cut it in half, and that will be an example of what an igneous rock would look like with a bunch of different minerals in it that are interlocking and not necessarily in any particular um, arrangement. So we'll put some sprinkles on here. Hold it. Put a few more. Okay, just pick up some. It'll be a little bit messy, but that's okay. And feel free to replicate this at home because it is a good experiment and your kids will probably like it too. All right. So we have a good arrangement here. So we're going to roll this into a ball. Okay. And now I'm going to slice it in half. And we're going to take a look at the arrangement. Okay. So in here you can see the Sprinkles are good up everywhere. They're not in any particular pattern, right? So we call that interlocking when crystals are interlocking and kind of sporadic and they don't have any pattern to them. So now let's take a look at if this rock or this Play-Doh underwent directed pressure. So roll it back into a ball, move some sprinkles out of the way, and I'm going to use the counter as one area of pressure or one side of pressure and my hand is the other. So I'll just take my hand and smush it. Okay, so one thing you'll notice already is that a lot of these sprinkles are no longer pointing outward this way. They're all kind of flat. So remember, foliation is when the minerals align themselves perpendicular to stress, parallel to themselves. So, cut that in half. You can kind of see some of those. They're all going in this direction, right? So you can kind of see them going that way. I mean, you can see it on the top as well. So they're aligning themselves parallel to each other and perpendicular to that stress. Remember, the stress came down this way. So they're parallel to each other and perpendicular to that stress, okay? So after watching this demonstration, go ahead and try it yourself if you would like and answer the questions that follow.